Welcome back, everyone. We will continue to explore relics of past industry in northern BC through our current exhibit, Beehive Burners Behind Us. This week, we will be looking at the work of Lou Englehart, based on Mills and Vanderhoof and Fort Fraser. First up is a painting of Nechaco Lumber in Vanderhoof, BC. Created in 1981, this painting shows a medium to small sized burner still in use. Attached to the burner are both a cyclone and a conveyor, so large debris and dust both were disposed of in the burner's flames. The site around the burner seems to be empty except for a few stray logs and oil barrels in the foreground. We now move down the highway from Vanderhoof to Fort Fraser. The subject of this painting is the burner at Fort Fraser Planing Mill, as it was in 1981. Englehart's description on the back of this painting notes that the mill is owned by Winchester Securities and is situated on the Nechaco River. In the background behind the smoking burner is a lineup of bright orange CN boxcars. This next painting also depicts a Vanderhoof mill site. Captured in 1981, this rendering of Plateau Mills is quite interesting. Upon examination, the burner seems to be abandoned. There is no pipe or conveyor attached to its deposit opening, and there appears to be an opening at the bottom missing a closure. To the right of the burner, there is what appears to be a cyclone, but it is not attached to the burner. Dust was probably collected here and disposed of by other means. Our last painting for today's video highlights the lingering presence of beehive burners often away from popular sight and mind. This painting shows a burner that also belonged to the Fort Fraser Planing Mill. However, by 1981 this burner had already been abandoned and forgotten. The burner became the center of a trash pile where unwanted industrial remains were left to eventually be covered up by flowers. <laughs> 